What's jamming guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Jamie. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope today is good to you. If you're single like myself, it's okay. Have your little cry. Then move on with your life because you ain't need no significant other. It's fine. Anyway, as you can tell by today's title, you are going to get struck by Cupid. I mean, metaphorically, not literally. Don't go shooting yourself with an arrow, okay? But if you want a little bit of gore into your Valentine's Day, that doesn't go mean. That doesn't go mean. That does not. That's not good English. What I mean is, go watch a scary movie with your significant other or alone, whatever your preference. Don't actually go shoot someone with an arrow. All right. Now, this look. Um, is actually kind of inspired by a few different looks. You know, through Halloween, we have the axe through the head. Well, we're gonna do an arrow through the head. As well as I am using one of Glam and Gore's techniques to create a gelatin heart. So I have the heart coming out of my chest like I was shot by Cupid and giving my heart away, literally. And then, like, you're all sad because you're dead, right? Get it? It's kind of the theme we're going with today. Anyway. I hope you enjoy the video. There is a little bit of prep for this before we actually go to the application process, and that's coming next. So for this look, you're gonna need gelatin, glycerin, two medium-sized bowls, a cup, measuring cup, saran wrap, and tissue or toilet paper. Now for this next part, you will just wanna make sure you're mixing equal parts gelatin to equal parts glycerin with a little bit less water. Um, you, there's no specific measurements for this, um, what I base it off of is how big my fist was because that's what they say is the size of your heart. You're getting going to mix this all together and put it in the microwave for 10 second intervals. until you start seeing this type of consistency. Now covering another bowl with saran wrap, I've put a little bit of blood into my gelatin mix. This is just to give it a pre-color. I'm then going to pour this carefully because the bowl is hot and you're gonna see I'm about to drop it into the saran wrap. Make sure you do use oven mitts. I'm gonna pick up the saran wrap and start to twist. During the time that my gelatin was in the microwave, I put my cup with some tissue. I'm then gonna add more tissue, molding and moving around the saran wrap with the gelatin in it to kind of get the shape that I want. I've also made sure once I have the basic shape that I wanted is I twisted a little bit of gelatin up into the top just because that's going to be your um, little arteries that it comes out of the heart. If it isn't perfect the first time you put it in the cup, take it out, remold it, gelatin will still be warm enough. Alright, so to make the arrow, I got these little wooden heart pieces from the dollar store, bristol board, hot glue gun, and scissors. With the bristol board, you want to cut one and a half inches by three inches. With this, you're going to roll them down the glue stick. This is just to get the round shape. Once the shape is okay enough, you're going to start gluing that together. So side to side to seal the arrow around so it's a nice round tube. Once you have that how you would like it, you're going to get the wooden heart and hot glue gun this to the whichever side of the arrow just to get it to stick. And that's the part that's going to go through your forehead. You're going to repeat the same process with the other cardboard. This will create the bottom piece that is on the other side of the arrow. Once you've completed that, you're then going to cut an inch wide diagonal pieces, kind of like this. This is just going to create the feathers at the end of the arrow. Once you have three of them, you're then going to start cutting the little feathery bits. This is just basic with um, just cutting lines in it really. Looks like a feather. Okay. 
Once you have all three cut, you can then start gluing it onto the wooden rod that you've made before. Make sure that the arrow or the feathers, um, the long way is facing down. It's really hard to explain, but basically like this. You're then going to cut slits on the other ends and fold them up. This is just going to give us a base where we can stick to our face to make it easier for the application process once we get to that. I'm then just going in with some red paint. I'm gonna paint the heart, the tip of the arrow, and I'm also just going to paint the feathers. I'm not going to paint the actual rod of the arrow just because I thought the brown looked, looked like the wood. All right, so getting started, I've tied my hair back to actually do this look, just because we're gonna start with the chest. This gets a little bit messy when making the hole. What we're going to do to make it is we're going to do latex paste. If you don't know how to create it, it's simple. You're just gonna need some latex, and then you're gonna use some flour. Mix the two together, it becomes a thicker consistency, um, which means it's kind of a thicker area. What I like to do to start out with, is I am just going to start tracing a hole of where I want, or a circle, drawing a circle for where I want the hole to be. That's just a really rough hole. I maybe want to do this. I'm so doing this on my wrong side. Ha! Huh. Okay. That's, that's not the side. My heart's on this side, not this side. For you, it might be this one. I was born with my organs on the wrong side, guys. We're off to a great start. Okay. Good. Now, we're gonna draw the circle on the proper side where your heart is. I'm pretty sure mine is on my left side. Mm. All right, so yeah, that's a big enough hole. So this is where I'm gonna have the hole. If I want, if you want to move your straps, if you want to do this with a bando, you can just to make it easier. I'm gonna make it YouTube friendly, so I don't get demonetized. What you're gonna do is you're going to pour your liquid latex into your bowl, and then you're just going to pour your flour in. Okay, perfect. All right, now it is this sort of a consistency. What you're gonna do? To grab a new cup. All right. So you're just going to start smearing this. Oh, yes. Giving yourself a nice little mask on the chest that will eventually wax it. It's fine. It's okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to go in with liquid latex just on your finger and you want to kind of smooth down the outer edges. Now that we are done the hole, we are actually going to start attaching our arrow pieces. This can actually be done with more of the liquid latex paste. If yours is starting to dry up, that's fine. Make a little bit more. I'm getting a new spatula. All right. So I want these to kind of go, I need my mirror again. I want these to kind of go here and here. I want it to go through my eye. And yes, I know this is a weird way for an arrow to enter and leave, but in my imagination, Cupid's a baby. He's shooting me from the ground up. Makes total sense, right? All right, I wanna do the head first. I've just put some liquid latex paste on the bottom of my arrow, laid it flat against my head. Then I go in with some more liquid paste just around the area to start really pushing down those little flaps. I'm also going with just liquid latex to soften up and smooth out any edges and to make it dry faster, a nice hair blow dry. This is now on pretty good. I can move my head. It's still gonna dry a little bit, 
but we are now going to apply the bottom arrow. I'm gonna do it just here, just behind my ear, because that's kind of symmetrical and the angle of how the arrow is going. I just touched that, it's nice. Again, uh, doing the same process, or repeating the same process, I should say. All right, so now that I have my arrow through my head, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit more um, and before we apply any makeup to blend this in. All right guys, so now the hole in our chest is now nice and dry. You're gonna just slightly start peeling it away, starting from the middle. You just ripped your heart out. Those you didn't think to make a nice hole just ripped your heart out. All right. So next, I go into a reddish orange body paint. This is just going to help conceal and even out my skin tone a little bit um, from the liquid latex. It doesn't have to be completely blended. You're then going to go in with a flesh color or your skin tone color. And again, this one doesn't have to be 100% blended either. Now when you're blending these two colors together, it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to 100% match your skin tone. Just because when you add in, when we're going to be adding in the colors later, we're going to kind of get it all blended nicely. As well as I feel like when you just rip your heart out, um, nothing's going to be nice and even and clean around your skin. <laughs> You're then going to start going in with some black body paint. This is only on the inside of where the hole is. Now go up a little bit on the sides, um, on the insides and on um, a little bit on the flaps just because that is going to also act as our darker blood when we do add blood. Now, you can definitely decide other ways to color this. You can pull more parts of the skin away. It's really all your preference. I like to say there's no specific way to do this. I've done all mine basically by learning, doing different techniques, and there's not just one right way to do things, which is why this industry is amazing. Then grabbing some red and brown body paint with a smaller brush, I'm going to be going around the edges. I'm going to extend it out, expand it out a little bit um, onto the flesh colored just so it really looks like um, a flat, like a fresh wound. I was then gonna add some blood and then I realized this isn't enough. So I'm going in with purples, blues, reds, and yellows to start adding um, bruising effect around the skin.
Now I'm going to start to add a little bit of blood. I'm just using a stippling sponge and just dabbing it all around. I'm not going to do too, too much right away though. We are going to add more blood later. Okay, so I've added some blood around. I've colored it. I've made it look a little more gory. I'm going to leave this for now. Once I'm completed the look, I'm going to add a lot more blood. So it's kind of oozing out of this area as one would if they ripped their hearts out. I'm now going to go to these areas and I'm just going to do the same technique. I'm going to put a reddish tone and then I'm going to mix it with my color um, or just even this color out now, just so it looks like the arrow's coming out of my skin and not from me sticking it on. Okay. Okay guys, so I finished blending it to how I like it. The thing that's really going to pull this look together is blood. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly add some blood, finish up, and we'll be right back with the finished look. So that completes our look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I post new videos every Friday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you get notified of a new video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can leave them down below. I will get back to everyone who does. Hope you have a great day. Have an amazing Valentine's Day. Hopefully it's not uh, as bloody as mine. Bye.